Welcome. In grade school, we're all taught to draw factor trees. For example, if I want to draw a factor tree of the number 100, the idea is you split into two factors you think of, maybe 10 times 10 in this case. 10 itself splits into two factors, 2 and 5. This 10 splits into 2 and 5. And I can't go any further without hitting into 1s. If I allow myself to go, uh, keep going with 1s, then I'll keep, be going on forever. So we usually just stop at the prime numbers. And we say 10 is broken to the factors 2, 5, 2 and 5. It's interesting if my friend Sally sitting next to me started a different way and went 2 times 50, for example, to start off with, and then later went uh, 25 times 2, and then later went 5 times 5, she ends up with the same primes in the end. And what's curious to me as a thinking person is that no one is, seems to question that the list of primes that one obtains in the end, even when one goes through a different series of branches, is guaranteed to be the same. For example, Suppose two friends, Sally and Len, decide to, to devote, devote the next 20 years of their lives to each factoring this number. If I can write it down, 4302904, doesn't matter what I write, da, 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 two, 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 zero, 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 zero. Is it at all obvious, if they did it correctly, that they would have the same list of primes at the very end of the process? Now, of course, everyone watching this video is saying, well, yes, but I'm going to question, how do you know? And to just demonstrate that this really is a valid question, let me introduce you to the country of Ivanistan. Ivanistan, in case you're wondering how I'm spelling this, is, sp is spelled E-V-N-A-S-T-A-N. Because in Ivanistan, only even numbers exist. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. If you ask someone to count to 10 in Avenistan, she will say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If you ask her to count to 11, she'll say, huh? Because there is no 11 in Avenistan. These are the only numbers. And just like us in Avenistan, they recognize that some numbers are composite and some numbers are prime. For example, 8 is a composite number. It factors as 2 times 4, which actually becomes 2 times 2 times 2. Whereas a number like 10 is prime. It doesn't split any further in Avenistan. Remember, we attempt to say 2 times 5, but there's no such thing as 5 in the Venestan. So that's it. 10 is prime. Uh, 6 is also prime. We want to say 2 times 3, but there's no 3 in the Venestan. So some numbers are prime, and some numbers are composite in the Venestan, just like we have in our life. Now, it's children in the Venestan, just like I was in grade four, uh, told to do in grade 4, had to draw factor trees. So, for example, suppose the child in the Venestan drew the factor tree for the number 100. Well, she might go 10 times 10, and she have to stop. That's prime, that's prime. But every child in Avenistan knows that factor trees need not be unique. For example, her neighbor might go 2 times 50, and that's prime as well. So in Avenistan, factor trees are not unique. Now, admittedly, um, this is a very simple example. They, the children don't have to go very high to see that factor trees can be strange. Um, in fact, little exercise, what's the smallest number that has two different factor trees in Avenistan? It's a bit smaller than 100. But my point is, for a while, it looks like factor trees are unique in Avenistan. But as soon as they get up to a certain number, things start to get wacky, and factor trees can have different answers. Now, in our society, where we have the full number system, maybe we only haven't gone high enough yet to see that factor trees are actually failing for us to have unique answers. All the examples we do in school are just you know, three, maybe four, maybe even five digit answers. Maybe we need to get to the tens of thousands or the millions of thousands before we start seeing factor trees having different answers. So it's a very valid question. Do factor trees have unique primes in the end for all possible numbers? Now, I'm going to be mysterious in this one. To actually answer it, uh, I will refer to Volume 1 of the Thinking Mathematics series. This is actually a question that the um, Greek mathematician Euclid addressed. He did manage to prove, and yes, all our grade school teachers were correct, factor trees are unique in our number system. But it relies on the key property of primes. So what I'll do in another video is I'll talk about the key properties of primes. And when I get to it, we will prove the fundamental theorem of arithmetic for our number system, that factor trees are unique. In Uvenistan, the uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic does not hold. Their factor trees are not unique. Now, a question for you. How's life in Odishtan? Are factor trees unique in that country? Thanks very much.